Hey folks, today we're going to be taking a look at my Vintage Machine Robo MR03 Jet Robo, also known as GoBots Fighter. So sit back and enjoy, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Hey guys, M here from Transformers and Video Games, and welcome back to the channel. For anyone who watched my Black Friday weekend haul video, then you might recognize this as being one of the vintage GoBots that I found at the flea market that weekend. Back in the 1980s cartoon, Fightor was voiced by Kelly Ward, and was one of the commanders on the Renegades Alliance, second in command to the leader Psykill. I don't know a whole lot about the fiction because the cartoon honestly wasn't very good, and it didn't really hold my interest compared to the Transformers cartoon, which was much better at the time. The toy was first produced in 1983 in the Japanese Machine Robo line, and was later released in 1983 and 1984 under the GoBots branding. Fighter was a futuristic fighter jet, although not a particularly aerodynamic one, which was predominantly black and red, but like other figures in the 80s, came with some beautiful chromed parts. In this case, his wings and his thrusters at the back got the vacuum metalized plastic treatment. The core section of the jet is a painted red die cast metal, which gives it a really nice weight even for such a small figure. The front section of the jet also has a nice translucent blue cockpit, which I think really complements the other colors of the jet mode. And the back section of the jet, including the rear fins, are a molded red plastic. The underside of the vehicle doesn't do a very good job at hiding the fact that it's actually a robot in disguise. Here you can see his face, arms, fists, and even what will become his robot legs pretty much in plain sight. Having said that, I do think that this is forgivable, given how simple and small the figure is. The jet mode does have four metal wheels which act as landing gear, and each rolls independently. Considering its size, I think Fighter has a very successful jet mode overall. And now we'll get into the very simple transformation. Fold the landing gear 90 degrees at the shoulder to form the arms of the robot mode. Pull the back section of the jet down until you hear a satisfying click to form the legs. Then fold the wings back 90 degrees to form the heel spurs. And that's it for the transformation. Short and sweet. Now we'll take a quick look at the robot mode. The figure has a yellow sticker on each leg and some nice red paint details on the chest. Be sure to inspect this section carefully for paint chips when you're picking one up on the secondary market. The back side of the figure is fairly clean and although the jet cockpit is clearly visible, it doesn't look bad at all and the heel spurs that were formed from the wings give the toy excellent stability in robot mode. As you saw from the transformation sequence, there's not a lot of articulation on this figure, but that's pretty typical given that the toy is over 35 years old, and there have been a lot of toy engineering development since then. In the case of Fighter, his arms will rotate a full 360 degrees at the shoulder, and that's it for articulation. I should mention that on the inside of the figure's right leg is the date stamp. There may be other variants out there, but on mine it says MR03 Poppy DS 1982 Japan. Alright guys, here we are with the figure back in jet mode, and I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. In conclusion, would I recommend adding a GoBots Fighter or a Machine Robo 03 Jet Robo to your collection? If you're a GoBots fan, then I absolutely would pick this one up for the right price. This is a fun, simple, but very well made transformable robot toy from the 80s, and I quite honestly think that it holds its own against certain mini-bots from the G1 Transformers era, and I'm not just referring to G1 Wheelie here. I absolutely love G1 Transformers, and I accept them despite their shortcomings, but there were some very weak Transformers figures that seemed to get a pass, compared to GoBots, which overall don't seem to get a lot of love from the fandom in general. Before I wrap this one up, I just wanted to give a very special shout out to a good friend of mine who has returned to YouTube after nearly a one year absence from the platform. Cyber Tiger Retro Toy Showcase and Reviews is a wonderful YouTube channel where he discusses his love for action force figures, Transformers movies, Transformers figures from the G1 era, up to modern retail lines, including masterpiece figures, and everything in between. He's one of the founding members of the International Nerd Team, and he uses his platform to support smaller YouTube channels any opportunity that he gets. Why not check out his channel today if you're interested? Thanks again for watching, everyone. Take care.